Hello everybody, I'm Blaze and Rebecca, and welcome back to Tokyo School Life. Uh, but... Isn't it kind of otaku-ish? No way! Samurai Maiden is popular all around the world. I'm really looking forward to the anime. It actually starts airing today. The two look at me with a troubled expression. Man, how can I get across to them how good Samurai Maiden is? Buddy, I don't think you can. Hey, Sakura, you get it, right? Samurai Maiden is... She grabs my arm, she squeezes and tugs. Huh? What? Wow, that's fast talking. We have the two girls staring blankly as Sakura brings me into the hallway. What's the matter with Sakura? I've never seen her so frazzled before. Only well, maybe she shouldn't have been... She's dragging to a dead end where no one can see us and finally stops walking. Um, Sakura, are you gonna confess your love to me or something? If so, I'm glad for your feelings, but couldn't you be a little bit more romantic about- Well, okay. Yeah, I go okay. Okay, I meant I was actually- it actually was an idiotic joke, but I didn't mean- didn't mean to say that so bluntly right to my face. I don't really get what you're talking about. Huh? You mean about Samurai Maiden? Why? I really don't get why. Huh? But, Sakura, you brought, brought Samurai Maiden, right? You read it, right? She was talking about her little sister, so... Total liar. Hmm, I'm not buying this. When someone mentions Samurai Man, I guess a lot of people know of it from all the coverage about the story where he reimagined the historical hero Sago Takamori to be a girl. So a lot of criticism paints into it in a sleazy light. But if it was really was sleazy, it wouldn't be so popular around the whole world. That's what I think. I think the most interesting thing about Samurai Maiden is... The con- yeah, let's say this one. Sweet little Sagami Chen's valiant samurai spirit is such a great contrast with her appearance. The detail that the main character is a cute girl really helps emphasize the elements of a samurai's loyalty and the heart of Bushido. <laughs> Aha! Exactly! The storytelling in Samurai Main is first rate. Sagoa Ch Chan's catchphrase also well takes on new meaning when said by a girl, don't you think? Sakura, I knew it. You read, you've read a ton of Samurai Maiden. Yes, I do. No, I didn't mean to make a big deal out of it or anything, but. Whoa, sorry Sakura, I didn't mean to pick on you or anything, it's just that I don't get why you feel like you have to hide it so much. Now you mention it, when I just called two girls from before heard the same name Samurai Maiden, their expressions did seem kind of like they were looking down on it. 
Wow! Still, I think it's pretty silly you have to be secretive about what you like just because some other people will make unpleasant faces about it. I don't think you do, ma'am. Hmm, from the way she's been talking, it seems like her love for Samurai May runs really deep. Kind of waste. Sakura, do you hide your interest from Karen and Aoi too? And there's no problem with me knowing too, right? Even if it's for a short time, I'm a member of Tomoe Dome Tree too. So that means it's okay to talk about Samurai Man and Tomoe Dome Tree. Anyway, let's watch the first episode of the anime together, and let's talk about Samurai Main 2! Is it okay with me? Of course! More like I should be the one asking you! When we get back from school, the inside of the shrine is decorated for Tanabanta. There are big cuts of bamboo grass all about. The lines of many small red hanging lanterns are a fantastic sight! Okay, I'll be back with more. See you in the next part!